ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Now, come to my weekly lesson again, and today my topic is about the empathy consciousness. The abbreviation is easy, easy. So, let's start by understanding what is empathy consciousness. Empathy consciousness is when a person has financial, economic, material, emotional satisfaction. So perhaps every aspect of a human uh, being that satisfies him or her and the individual have the capacity to practice good conscience uh, on other fellow human beings. So first of all, we all need to understand the features of traditional and modern societies before any explanation on uh, empathic consciousness. Traditional society is characterized by number one, less exposure to self-expression. And whenever there was a self-expression, it would be dealt with harshly by the members of the authority. Number two, traditional society is characterized by economic hardship. Number three, traditional society is characterized by belief in the firm hand of state power, emphasize conformity. And number four, traditional society is characterized by unacceptable in abortion, uh, homosexuality, and divorce. Okay? Now, according to Rifkin in 2009, all forms of security such as economic security, personal uh, safety, freedom uh, to control one's fate, and selfhood can heighten empathic consciousness. So restriction of empathic consciousness comes in the forms of number one, the survival societies, number two, traditional cultures. So in survival societies, everybody is struggling for survival. So looking for securities as food, financial and shelter, these are the things that are scarce in the survival societies. So as a result, there is no time for empathic consciousness. So individuals are looking for ways to keep themselves alive. The same as traditional societies, where the relationships between the parent, child, siblings and other close relatives, extended kin and members of peer groups and, uh, are confined. So the authority uh, flows from parent to child, elders to youngsters uh, that leave little room uh, for the individuals to express the empathic consciousness. Rifkin in his book quote, Increased economic well-being has provided the security necessary to allow people to be uh, more trusting of their fellow and more caring toward their natural world. So while we are saying that, Rifkin furthermore recognized that there is 83% of the high-income countries that have adopted post-materialist culture. 74% of the poorest countries in the world are um, only just marginal between poor and uh, wealthy. So that is in a survival mode. So to sum up the survival in the materialist uh, countries, they are opposite uh, growing opposite directions from each other. So let's have a thought. How much empathy consciousness left in the whole world? Okay, let's conclude my today's topic on empathy consciousness and my next topic will be distinctive features in the learning strategies and its differences. Okay, stay tuned and uh, um, thank you for listening and goodbye.